Hey, welcome to Dad Can Cook. And uh, previously on the Facebook and on my YouTube channel, I just did a thing on uh, blanching uh, green vegetables and keeping them green. Well, here's my broccoli for this dish. And in this episode, this is a quickie I'm making for folly, which is bow ties, but my daughter's favorite, with a cream sauce. Okay, a cream sauce that's kind of almost like an Alfredo, or you could call it an Alfredo, with a bechamel, okay? There was also another quickie, it's on the pages, you can find it, a bechamel, okay? And we're going to do sautéed shrimp and the broccoli in this farfalle and cream sauce, okay? But first, I want to show you this bowl of vegetables here and fruit. You see that? See that? In there are tomatoes, pears, bananas, and tomatoes. Who says fruit and vegetables can't get along? Okay? They can. Alright, well, alright, I got my water boiling here. Boiling, right? And with the water boiling, I'm going to put my farfalle in the, in the pot. Okay, this is so easy, you can do it while you're injured. Okay, I got my strainer in the sink. When this is done, I'm going to put, if I can find it, my lid on that pasta. We're going to get that going. <coughs> okay, and then right here, Excuse me. I have a pan. I got my broccoli. I got shrimp. Okay, and I got my bechamel sauce. And I got some grated Parmesan cheese. Not the best stuff in the world, but that's okay. Okay? And I want to tell you something. You know what? This ground minced garlic that I have. You know what? Yes, I'm confessing to this right now. In spite of using fresh garlic like I do a lot of times, I also use the minced garlic that I buy in a jar, okay, when I want to make something fast. <coughs> but let me tell you something what I do with that minced garlic. I drain it. I put it in the strainer and I drain it all out to get all of the water, because I hate garlic and water. I drain it all out and then I rehydrate it with olive oil. So I re-put my garlic back in the jar with some olive oil after I take all the water out. Okay, so this is boiling up the storm here. And let me get my wooden spoon. And I'm going to mix this around. Okay? Now when this is done, I'm going to come back and I'm going to make this sauce. It's not really sauce because I made it already because my bechamel. I'm just going to add the cheese to it. And maybe a little bit more milk or stock to it. Whatever you have available. Okay, but we're going to saute the shrimp, we're going to add the broccoli, and we're going to put it together. This is a Okay, the pasta is about halfway done right now, and I'm coming down here to the pan. I got this pan on the fire, and I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of olive oil, the tiniest bit, and, and uh, half a tablespoon maybe, and then I'm going to add my shrimp to it. Okay? Okay, so I got like six shrimp a piece here that's going to be going on. It's a pound of uh, U25s. Okay, I peeled them, and you've seen me peel shrimp before, and I have even had a class on that. Uh, so we got that going here, okay? Now, that should be hot, because I've had this pan on. So it should start sizzling soon. Okay, I hear it coming up. Got the pasta going here. Okay. You hear it going?
Okay, now we're going to saute these bad boys up. Okay. And then when they start get going good, I'm going to throw the garlic in, and then I'm going to finish them with the broccoli. Okay? And I got to tell you, I love my fans. Because my back is killing me. I pulled my back out, like I said, and it's absolutely killing me for this episode. But, go back to this. Got my pasta going here. I'll try to get it both on the camera there. I got my pasta going there. Got my shrimp going here. Okay. Smelling the shrimp cooking. Starting to turn color. Okay. And the thing about this is, is what I'm going to do is after I saute the shrimp and broccoli, I'm going to take it out and reserve it. And I'm going to add it to the stuff at the end. Because if you're making these for individuals, you want a certain amount of shrimp and a certain amount of broccoli in each portion, right? So if I put it all together and then I put it into a plate, I don't necessarily have what I want to give each person. So here I want to give each person six shrimp and a, and a chunk of broccoli stuff in it, right? So to make it easier for me, I'm going to take it out. Have them on the side like I was restaurant style, like I've always talked about, and then add it back in at the end. Okay, so let's let's get it going here. Okay, checking my pasta. Almost there. Shrimp are going good. Okay, we're gonna roll them over. I'm gonna hit it with the garlic. Okay. Okay, now the broccoli is pretty much almost all the way cooked. And my daughter likes it soft, so I cooked it a little bit more. I personally don't care if it's hard or soft or not, whatever. I, I just want to make dinner tonight. So, okay. So I got that going. You see these? Look at this. Looking good, right? Nice shrimp. Okay, now I'm going to hit it with the broccoli. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cook this all up. I'm going to put the sauce in and right into this. This is how I'm going to do it. Spur the moment, this is how I'm going to prepare this meal tonight. This is probably the best way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this with the sauce. I'm going to let this cook. I'm going to strain this pasta. I'm going to put everything back in. I'm going to strain the pasta here. I forgot I don't have a camera, man. I'm going to strain the pasta here. Okay. I'm going to put the pasta and the sauce in here. And then I'm going to divide this stuff up for the plating. Okay. That's how easy that this is going to be. So now I got all of this going here. I got the smells going really, really nice. I smell the shrimp sauteing. All of this cooking nice. I got this pasta. Let me test it. I can't get one out. There we go. That's done. That pasta is done. I don't want to overcook it. Okay? So I'm going to strain this and be right back. Okay, I got the pasta strained, and I got it in the sink here. See? Okay. And what I'm going to do right now... Is I'm going to turn this on, my fire on on this pan here. And I'm going to dump my sauce into it. Almost all of this, that's got like a quarter sauce there. So I might need to add a little bit more at the end, so we'll see. Okay? So I got my sauce there, like so. Okay, come over here and take a look at this. Okay, so I got my sauce here. Okay? Over here I got my broccoli and stuff sauteing up nicely. 
Quiet. Pretty much almost done, right? And very dry, not oily. I don't like oily stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it's not oily, right? It's just sauteed enough and enough to cook, okay? So we're letting this cook. We're making sure that that's nice, nice, right? Okay? So now here with the sauce, the sauce is starting to boil. You can see that. The sauce is starting to boil up here. Getting hot again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pasta that I have in my strainer and I'm going to dump that in, in the sauce. Because I don't want a wet, wet sauce. Okay? So, and I also want some nice presentation. Hey, you know, a little bit, right? I'm going to put the rest of the sauce in this. Okay, this is dinner for the three of us. This is like, hey, you know, nice. It's a nice little meal I have for us during the week. Okay, so the pasta is done. Except for the Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to add about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese to that. Right? Okay. And I'm going to mix that in. I'm going to taste it. You know what? A little more cheese. Another quarter cup or so of cheese. So I'm putting in about three quarters of a cup of cheese into this. You know, everything's to your taste. How much or have, have, ha, has much, as much or as little as you like it, okay? Okay, back here, this is done. Turn the flame off. This is done. Here, turn in the flame off. Okay, mixing this around. Whoa. Get that in there. And I'm going to show you the plating in a second. Okay, now for the plating. I'm going to take my pasta and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put the pasta on the plates. Okay? I'm going to evenly distribute this. Nice little portion here. Okay, you see that? Okay. Finish it. There's a lot in there. Okay, and now what I want to do is I got six shrimp per. So I'm just going to randomly put these around here. Like so, right? And then I'm going to put some broccoli in the center of this and kind of stick it down in there. Okay. And that's going to be our plating and our serving for tonight. I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching, it was a quickie. You've just experienced another quickie from Dad Can Cook. I'm Scott the Grill Man Grippo. Thank you. No muscle. Let's go. Music makes me.